All right, guys, we're back for another episode of UFC Main Event Challenge. We have Rose Namajunas taking on Tracy Cortez, and let's go over their stats. Rose Namajunas is 32 years old. She has 165-centimeter reach and is 165 centimeters tall compared to Tracy Cortez, who is 30 years old. She is also 165 centimeters tall and has 166 centimeters in reach. So basically, almost the exact same stats, negligible differences. Rose Namajunas, highly regarded as one of the best strikers in the women's divisions. She has, I think, the highest knockdown rate in almost all women's fights. Had some great fights with Jessica Andrade, some great fights with Zhang Wei Li. Then she lost to Carla Esparza in one of the weirdest fights you'll ever see, but I love it because I love weird fights like that. Then she moves up to 125 pounds, fights Manon Faro, loses a decision to Manon, and then beats Amanda Hibis in kind of a bounce back win. And now she's trying to take on Tracy Cortez and maybe making a push for the flyweight title. Let's look at Tracy Cortez, and I'm not super familiar with her career, but Beat Roxanne Modafferi in 2017, beat Caitlin Neal in 2018, also beat Monica Medina in 2018, beat Karen Sedillo in 18, beat Aaron Blanchfield by split decision in 2019, that win's looking good in retrospect, beat Maria Agapova in 2019, Vanessa Mello in 2019, Stephanie Egger in 2020, Melissa Gatto in 2022, so that was after almost a year off, 13-month layoff, and then fights Jasmine Jazdavisius last year in September and beats her. So now she's fighting Rose Namajunas and almost another year off, so 10 months off. So what are their games? What are they good at? Rose Namajunas is a great striker. She has really good footwork, good defense because of her footwork. And also pretty decent head movement. She has good hands. She gets a lot of knockdowns with her opponents, good kicks. And she's been really working on the wrestling, factoring in that wrestling into her striking so that she can land takedowns consistently on her opponents. Something that she was able to use against Zhang Wei Li and Amanda Hibis was her grappling. So that's been a big part in her game recently. Tracy Cortez is kind of just a grinder. She'll clinch up with you. She'll try to take you down. She has pretty good in and out movement, good jabs. She really used that jab against Jasmine Jazdavisius. But nothing super stands out about her fights. And actually, if you take a look at her, she's gotten all decisions recently. Uh, when was the last finish she got? Karen Sedillo in 2018. So that was six years ago. Compared to Rose Namajunas, who has had a lot of decisions recently, but at least she had a knockout win against Zhang Wei Li. But that's just kind of like the women's fighting game. Nothing really stands out in terms of Tracy Cortez. She's physical, and she lands good punches against Jasmine Jazdavisius. She did land a few good punches, rocking her in the third round. But... She also got tired out in the third round, walked down. She doesn't move her head that much. She's susceptible to getting leg kicked. And I think that's what's making me lean towards Rose Namajunas in this fight. Tracy Cortez has some good striking and is a physical fighter. But the fact that she got beaten up and walked down by Jasmine is really giving me some cause for concern against Rose Namajunas. This is going to be a five-round fight instead of a three-round fight. So she's not going to have be able to do that sprint that she did against Nami, against Jasmine Jazdavisius. And I just don't think that she has the finesse and poise in her striking to actually beat Namajunas. Jazz, um, Tracy Cortez is a physical fighter. She will get kind of rough and tumble, just make it into a dogfight against her opponents. But Rose Namajunas has faced physical fighters before. Zhang Wei Li is a very physical fighter. Manon Faro is a physical fighter. And I think Amanda Hibis actually is a very good analogous style to what Tracy Cortez is going to bring to Rose. 
good wrestling, good striking, and just high output, but not real finesse on the striking. And while I don't think Rose's striking is going to be lethal enough that's going to knock out Tracy Cortez, I do think that her footwork is going to give her such a good advantage in being defensively sound that it's... I'm just not worried about what Cortez is going to do to her. Let's just take a look at a few clips here. So Amanda Hibbis goes in for this head and arm throw pretty soon. Here we go. So Rose clinches up with Amanda. Amanda gets this throw and she goes to throw her over her hip. And it actually works. She gets Rose down and Rose is threatening to take the back. But Amanda pushes into her with her hips and she puts Rose flat on her back and she has this little bulldog choke position. But what does Rose do? She gets underneath her, scoops her up and over, getting into the side control position. And the reason I wanted to show this clip is because I thought it was a cool exchange and I think it could be relevant in the Tracy Cortez fight. I think that Cortez will try to engage in the wrestling with Rose. And I just wanted to show this because Rose has been working on her wrestling a lot. She was able to get good positions against Amanda Hibbis, and Amanda Hibbis is a pretty decent wrestler for the women's flyweight division. And let's take a look at this clip from Tracy Cortez, where she just lands a really nice one-two on Jasmine Jazdavisius. And let's just talk about why this one-two worked. First of all, Jasmine Jazdavisius is slow. Her movements are slow. She plucks. Uh, she's just not that quick of a fighter. We also need to talk about her footwork. Her footwork is slow in the sense that she doesn't move her feet that much. She is very still-footed. She plants her feet and plods forward. She's not up on her toes, dancing around in and out, side to side, like what Rose Namunis is doing. And last but not least, Jasmine just does not move her head. You can see how Tracy Cortez touches her with this left hand, this jab, which gets a reaction out of Jasmine, but she doesn't slip or anything or move her feet. She just kind of stands up straight. And then that follow-up right straight from Cortez lands right down the pipe. She was landing these punches on Jasmine for 15 minutes straight. Really didn't affect Jasmine too much. Jasmine was still walking her down until the end of the fight. And Rose Namajunas is not going to be hit with that. She's going to be not even in that position because of her footwork. And if she does get in that position, she's always slipping her head, ducking, going side to side, and using her hands. So that's going to bring me to the odds. Rose Namajunas at minus 255 and Tracy Cortez at plus 202. Those are a little high odds. I mean, the odds make sense to me. But just because of the nature of the women's fights where I think Rose kind of tends to fight to the level of her opponent, I wouldn't rank her that highly in the odds. I would rate Rose at minus like a maybe a minus 200 favorite against Cortez. So minus 255 is a little high for me if I was going to bet on it. But I do think that Rose Namajunas is favored in this fight, just technically. And there is going to be a point where you should start picking against Rose just because the division is going to catch up to her and just age catches up to everyone in the end. However, I don't think that is this fight. I think Rose Namajunas is going to win by decision in this fight, and I hope that everyone enjoys the fights. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.